They're the medical that I've been booked for today. Hello and welcome to this video. If you could like, share, and subscribe to the channel, much appreciate it. Liking helps the algorithm, sharing gets in front of people's faces, and subscribing is completely free. Let me know how much you like the videos. And we are getting close to 4K. You are absolutely smashing it on the likes and subscribing. So if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. I'd much appreciate it. it. Makes it a lot easier uh, for you to see the videos. So Sheffield Wednesday are getting very, very close to signing their third summer signing, which is Jan Valerie. The star understands that a medical has been booked for today. Now we have already brought in Ben Hamer and Max Lowe, the two free agents who will join when their contracts are up on the 1st of July. Yesterday, we spoke about Pervader being really close as well, which is something that you not close, sorry, in, in talks to. Let's not say that is the, I don't want to have speculation. Like, you said it was close. What I mean is, let's have a look because the talks are starting, and I have a funny feeling that one will go faster the quicker it gets going. Now, we have already seen that Danny wants this player in, and this is no surprise, let's be fair. He worked with him before when he was at Southampton. They had a very good relationship. Now, we have had to see off some big European clubs in Montpellier and Standard Liège, who were very clean to add uh, Valerie to their books as well. The talks over the potential deal has been done quite quickly by the looks of it, with us agreeing to terms with the player first and then agreeing a fee with the club. Now, he made it very clear he wanted to come back to England, and I it looked like Danny Rule was a big uh, factor in that, making he wanted to come and play under Danny and see what Danny was like as a manager and not assistant manager. Now, he's a versatile player. He can play as an attacking mind of right back, which will give us a lot of strength because at the minute, we only really have Paul Valentine and more people coming in to help helps a lot. And because you've got the situation with pre-season coming round the corner, it's not far along now till pre-season starts. So I can imagine some of the deals are going to start ramping up really quickly because he wants some in... He wants a majority of them in by the 28th of June. And right now we are on the 20th of June. Uh, so we've probably got a week away before that and out in the park happens. And here's the thing. If Danny wants to get players in now, he needs to get them sorted and ready. Players can come in after preseason. That's fine. Uh, has started and stuff. But he wants them in so he can get them ready to play his style of football. Having players in in the 28th is a lot better than having not many in by the 28th. So if we can get another two, maybe three in before the 28th, that would be fantastic. You're hoping that's something like a Jan Pereira. You're hoping that's uh, Iortha, Bernard and Windass signing new deals. You're hoping that's maybe one of these strikers that we're apparently looking at, kind of like Ugbo or uh, say as someone's mentioned in the comments, say someone like a Jerry Yates or something like that. I'm not saying that Jerry Yates has been linked, uh, but what he said was it was interesting saying that apparently there's things in the rumour mill about Jerry Yates. So it's another one. So, and we are also looking at strikers in Europe because we've got two strikers we really want to bring in and apparently we can't make a decision between either or. And yesterday's video, I made it very clear with the Denver, I was kind of said in it like, oh, I don't know if we'll have the cap of this. And Mike was right. He was right with what he said. We're, I've been the one that's been banging the drum saying the money to, I think the money to spend. And he's right with what he said. And the thing is, you never know, we may still be able to do a deal for uh, Dembele if they are wanting to get him off the books. Now, we'll have to see what happens and see what a deal will look like there. But as of right now, it looks like Jan Valerie is going to be popping into a Wednesday shirt and then we'll be all set to go. And the thing is, the quicker these deals get done, the easier it's going to be for Wednesday to get going and moving forward. We've got to hit the ground running this season. We can't have a start like we had last season because that was an anomaly. Uh, with how bad, in terms of how 
bad it would get in players in last season. You had the scenario with Darren Moore, Sisko, the lot. We will start a lot stronger, and I can guarantee you the players will be ready for that first game of the season. We won't know what that first game is yet until the 26th of June, which is next week. There'll be a video on that as soon as that hits and it's all out. Um, I'll be discussing what fixtures and whatnot. But here's the thing. I am very, very excited to see what Danny does with this team in this summer and where he improves and how he improves and how we move it going forward. Because under Danny, we know for once we've got the right man now. We know the man for doing this job is Danny Rule, and we know how well he's going to work. We just need to make sure he gets the right squad in that he wants and he can go at this full-fledged because the last thing you want is Danny not being able to go at this at the level he wants to. And I generally think he got the whole full reign of going, right, I'm going to do this, this and this. Please let me have this within reason and then go from there because I generally think Jan, Jan Valery will be a very good player to bring in because he's versatile, he's attacking right back, which is what Paul is. Uh, we didn't see much of that and Paul doesn't have much cover in that position. So it looks like we're doing a two for each position, which is good because any of those positions, say if there is injuries, you could uh, potentially just pat it out with youth team experience if you take them a some of the youth team lot we've used pre-season to get to youth how you play. So yeah, so Jan Valery looks like he's going to be the third player in. It'll be interesting to see how quick we get this done and how, if it gets announced today, especially to the medical book today, I can imagine it being announced today or tomorrow uh, if there's ain't a medical book. But we had it on with Matt Lowe that we had it, that there was a medical book on the day of, or day before, and then he got announced. So I think we're getting very close to that stage here with Jan Valery, where it could be another one of those Friday announcement jobs. And you never know, maybe on Friday they'll tell us they'll have him in a kit. Uh, but I'm getting more and more to the point where I think that kit could have come out on Owls in the Park and home kit is anyway. And I'm not sure if I like that idea. Uh, they've done it in the past and it does work, but I'm just, Personally, I'm just not a fan of releasing uh, owls in, the shirts at Owls in the Park. It's good you get to see people walking around in new shirts and stuff. But at the same time, it's a lot of stress on the retail staff and stuff like that. And I think just give them a little bit of a break on that kind of thing while they get into summer. But if we're, the club's going to pick what they're going to do and we'll see if the leaks are true. But Jan Valerie looks set to have a medical. Please like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.